hey guys, what's up? So, that's, I got this old square recording thing back, so let's look. Okay, so we're going to be doing a little health episode. Not health wolf. Sorry, it's, it's not health wolf. Health wolf is a completely different topic. This is just like a reaction video. Alright, so, obviously the coronavirus thing is coming to an end. So now we're learning about getting vaccinated. So yeah, we are going to get vaccinated now. They're working on the vaccine. Alright, so what to expect at your appointments to get vaccinated for COVID-19? Because COVID-19 is a new disease with new vaccines, you may have questions about what happens before, during, and after your appointment to get vaccinated. These tips will help you know what to expect when you get vaccinated. What information your provider will give you and what sources you can use to monitor your health after you're vaccinated. Okay, so before your vaccination, you should see if COVID-19 vaccination is recommended for you right now. Learn about the different types of COVID-19 vaccinations and how they work. Learn more about the benefit of giving a COVID-19 vaccination. I know the benefit. Not having the virus. Being able to go to school again without wearing the mask. When you get the vaccine, you and your healthcare worker will both need to wear masks that cover your nose and mouth. Stay six feet away from others while inside and in lines. Learn more about protecting yourself in visits to the doctor or pharmacy. Okay. When you get vaccinated, you should receive a vaccination card or printout that tells you what COVID-19 vaccine you received, the date you received it, and where you received it. You should receive a paper or electronic version of a fact sheet that tells you more about the specific COVID-19 vaccination you are being offered. Each authorized COVID-19 vaccine has its own fact sheet and contains information to help you understand the risks, risks and benefits of receiving that specific vaccine. All people who get a COVID-19 vaccine should be monitored on site. After your vaccination. So yes, after vaccination, we should be back to normal pretty much afterwards. With most COVID-19 vaccines, you will need two shots in order for them to work. Get a second shot even if you have side effects after the first one. Unless a vaccine provider or doctor tells you to not get a second shot. Ask your health care provider about getting started with a VSafe, a free smartphone based tool that uses text messaging web surveys to provide personalized health check-ins after you receive a COVID-19 vaccination. VSafe also recommends you to get your second dose if you need one. Learn more at cdc.gov slash vsafe. It takes time for your body to build protection after any vaccination. COVID-19 vaccines that require two shots may not protect you until a week or two after the second shot. Alright, that's a lot. So yeah, we learned a lot. Alright, let's look at the benefits. We understand that some people may be concerned about getting vaccinated now that a COVID-19 vaccine is available in the U.S. While more COVID-19 vaccines are being developed as quickly as possible, routine proce processes and procedures remain in place to ensure the safety of any vaccine that is authorized or approved for use, safety is a top priority, and where and there are many reasons to get vaccinated. All COVID-19 vaccines currently built in the United States have been shown to be highly effective at preventing them. All vaccines are in development and are being carefully evaluated at clinical trials and will be authorized and approved only if they will make it substantially less likely that you will get COVID-19. Based on what we know about vaccines for other diseases and early data from clinical trials, experts believe that getting a COVID-19 vaccine may also help you keep you from getting seriously ill, even if you do get COVID-19. Eh, so it's not going to be completely getting it. All right. Wearing masks and social distancing will help reduce your chances of being exposed to the virus or spreading it to others. But these measurements are not enough. Vaccines will work with your immune system, so be ready to fight the virus if you are exposed. The combination of being vaccinated and following CDC's recommending recommendations to help protect yourself and others will offer the best protection from COVID-19. Stopping a pandemic requires all the tools that we have available. As experts learn more about the virus, vaccination may help reduce spread of the disease in communities. CDC will continue to update the recommendations to protect communities using the latest science. So it looks like we learned a lot now. 
All right, guys. But anyways, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want more of these, please hit the like button in the face. And don't forget to subscribe to my Wolfpack. Ow! I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.